Hey everyone, it's Tyler from Universal Rackets and today we are going over the proper approach shot. How to hit a proper approach shot, how to ensure that you always make the approach shot, and how to follow the approach shot so you can get up to the net. So, the first thing that we're going to start off is what is this video on, what is this shot called? It's called an approach shot. Now, it's called an approach shot for a reason. They didn't call it a kill shot, they didn't call it a knockout shot. The goal of the approach shot is to approach the net. It's to get from point A, from the baseline, to point B, to the net, to finish off the point. So the first thing I need you all to do is to think about the approach shot. Think of the purpose to it. It's not to automatically hit a winner. When you try to end the point on the approach shot, nine times out of 10, you will end the point, but you will end the point yourself because you're going to miss in the net. You're gonna miss long because you're trying to go for too much. So. This is not a good approach shot, guys. This is not a good approach shot, once again. I don't want you coming up here thinking that you're going for a knockout blow. If you try to go super big, you're going to be inconsistent. Also, here's the thing. If you guys play better players who can return the ball, if you go super big, what happens when you hit the ball faster? What happens? The ball gets back faster, right? So the closer you are up to the net, if you didn't know, the better volleys that you can hit. So the closer I get up to this net, the better volleys I can hit. So think, if I drill the ball from back here, if I drill the ball from here, I hit it super hard, my opponent's gonna get it right back and I'm gonna make my first volley around here. If I play with spin, if I give myself a little bit more time and a little bit more time is key, now I play with spin, I have a little bit more time. Now my first volley is up here. So if you play with spin, it's going to buy you more time. Also, if you play with spin, it's going to get the ball in. So once again, I'll say it one more time. That's a gem for you guys. Once again, if you can play with spin, you will get the ball in. So make sure the closer you are to the net, that means the less court that you have to work with, right? So in order to dive that ball in, that means I need twice as much spin. So when I get this ball up here, watch, I am brushing the ball and playing with spin. Let's try it one more time. I am brushing the ball and playing with spin. You should hear the ch -ch -ch sound on your racket, the strings doing the work against the ball. So if you play with spin, you get the ball in. Now, another thing that players go wrong when they hit their approach shot, right? You approach, it's not a stop and go shot. Number one, we went over, it's not a knockout shot, right? But number two, it's not a stop and go shot. So another thing that players go wrong is that they go, they stop, they hit, and then they try to go, right? You're gonna get your first volley, it's gonna be horrible. You're gonna be like a deer in the headlights. What you need to do is you need to make sure you hit, you follow forward, and then you keep on going. Notice, I never stop moving throughout my shot. I want you to think that the net, it's like gravity, right? It's pulling you in. So watch again, I have this approach, watch, I hit, boom, I hit, and I keep on moving forward to get my volley. If you stop after you hit your approach shot to see if the ball's in, where's your next shot going to be? It's going to be around the service line. We need to get up to the net. So make sure you are moving through your shot. Once again, we are moving through our shots. Now, here is another huge tip for you guys. When you guys hit your approach, watch this. I'm never hitting my approach like this. I'm never coming into the net for my approach shot like this. Number one, you never wanna be going like this for your approach shot. Too many players, they go like this. What am I not doing? I'm not turning my body. Also, you don't necessarily wanna run up and then turn last minute because if I run up and then I turn last minute, I'm going to get jammed and I'm going to get that ball late. If you have a short ball, watch what I'm gonna do. Rack it back, I'm gonna move up, and then I'm going to hit, throw it. I'm already turning, taking my racket back, and then I'm moving up, and then I am hitting, throw it. Hopefully I can get that ball in, but you guys get the gist. So I wanna take my racket back first and then move up, throw it. Now, if it's a super short ball, say if my opponent drop, drop shots me, then I'm going to run up and then I'm going to turn. But any normal short ball that you should be hitting, you should already take your racket back, then move up and then hit your ball in. You need to make sure that you're sideways. Now, there are more advanced approach shots that you can go on your outside leg, right? So if I'm more advanced, I can take this ball on outside leg, boom, and then come in and hit. But if you're a beginner, intermediate, or club level player, what you want to be doing is you want to be turned and you want to move through the ball. 
Now, if you're more, even more advanced, what you can do is you can turn, hop, skip through the ball. So what I mean by that is watch, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna hit, hop off my front foot, and then go. All you're going to do is before you make contact, right? You go turn, step, hop, and then hit. A great way to learn the hop, skip approach shot is all you're gonna do is you're gonna do a couple drop feeds, right? And you're going to say it out loud. Turn, hop, skip, and hit. So again, you're going to turn, hop, skip, and hit. Turn, hop, skip, and hit. Now, all these tips I'm going over for the forehand, you can also do for the backhand as well. Now, big thing with this, right? Where do you go after the approach shot? Oh, I can't get to the net. I'm too slow. I feel like a deer in headlights. I never played doubles before. My volleys suck. Yeah, I hear it all the time, guys. But why do you not have good volleys is because you don't follow your approach in the proper way. Too many players, what they do, watch, they go, they hit down the line, boom, right? They hit down the line, ah, oh, I'm going to the middle of the court to cover the court. Ah, oh, I can't get to my volley, ah, oh, I can't get to my volley. Or, or, watch this, watch this, this is another one, right? So they'll go cross court, right? So go cross court, boom, they'll go cross court and they'll come down the line. Ah, oh, there's all that space. You need to make sure that you follow the ball. Once again, you want to follow the ball. You follow the yellow brick road, you follow the ball, right? If I'm going down the line, I'm following my approach down the line. If I go cross court, I'm going to follow the ball cross court. By following the ball properly, it's going to cut off angles, so I'm going to be able to hit the volley. Watch, right? So if I go down the line with my approach, opponent's gonna hit over there, watch. If they go cross court, I got that covered. If they go down the line, I have that covered. Now, if they hit it in the dial shot, maybe I won't get it, but nine times out of 10, they won't do that, right? If I go with my approach cross court, watch what's gonna happen. I go cross court, boom, now I follow here. Look, if they have down the line, I have it cut off here. If they go cross court, look, I have it cut off here. So by following your approach, it's going to give you better angles. You can cut away your opponent's angles, and then you are going to be able to hit a good approach shot. So. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get our slinger bag right here, and we're going to go over the different types of approach shots, okay? So, you guys can see me do it. We're going to show you what not to do, and we're going to show you what to do. All right, here we are. We're going to approach down the line. So watch again how I turn, I take the racket back, and I'm following the ball and I'm continuously moving, okay? Another big thing that I wanna tell you guys is you guys need to make sure you accelerate. Too many players, before we get into proper instruction, what they do is that they stop and they hit the ball, they decelerate. Watch, I turn and I hit and I move through the ball and then I hit my volley. Again, I turn, I hit, I move through the ball and then I hit my volley. I thought it was gonna give me another ball. Volley, see? There we are. Again, turn, rack it back, I hit, I move through, then I hit my volley. One more. It's a weird angle for the volley. Turn, hit, move through, volley. Notice, I can hit the ball way harder, right? But what am I doing? Placement over power, guys. Placement over power. Same thing for the backhand. Turn, hit, move through, then I got the volley. Two hand, turn, hit, move through, then I got the volley, boom. And that is how you do that approach shot, okay? You're turning, you're hitting, you're moving through the ball, and you're following your shot. Now, in this drill, I know I might get a couple comments. Tyler, you were going towards this way and not towards your approach. Well, the ball was coming from over here. So technically, I should have hit every single approach cross court. So if you guys can follow these tips and tricks and have this mentality, you won't only be able to make your approach shot, you're gonna be able to hit an effective, consistent approach shot next time you're on court, and it's gonna get you a better chance of getting up to the net and hitting better volleys. Now, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Tennis with Tyler, download my Instantly Improve My Serve or Forehand eBook. Check it out, I put the link in the description, and I'll see you guys next time on court. Have a good one, happy hitting.